G'day folks, today I'm going to teach you how to create tracks and waypoints on Google Earth and then to transfer them onto your handheld unit. It's quite handy when you're a gold prospector like I am. Um, I guess if you're hiking and whatever, it's, it's quite cool when you use Google Earth. Okay, before we get started, I'll introduce you to the little program that you might be familiar with, it comes with your GPS Garmin, it's called Basecamp. I'll show you a couple of little things to make life a lot easier for us. Okay, if you have a look up here in the top left corner, it says library, and in my collection, make sure it's highlighted, just left click on that, and then right click and create a new list folder. Uh, give it name, whatever name you want. I'll put my name into it so I know it's mine. Now into that folder, if you right click on it again, we've got to create a new list. So um, call it whatever you want. I'll call first list waypoints. I like the original folder you just created. Right click, new list. Uh, tracks. Good one. Okay, so now you can see nestled in the folder you just created. If you click on the little plus, it shows you the two lists that you'll be using. Okay, that's enough for that now. Just minimize that for a sec. Right, start your Google Earth. Yeah, very handy tool when you're a gold prospector like I am. Um, so we've got to choose a place that you might want to go to. So um, oh, I know, somewhere up here. There it is. No, mistaken. There it is. Right, I know there's a radio tower out in the bush. There you can see it. Okay, first thing you do is up here along the top, you've got place marker. So what you do is when you click up there, this, this page or this box opens up and there's your place marker. You put your cursor over and it turns into like a finger pointing and you hold your left mouse button you can actually move it around so we want to go to the tower so that's going to be right there don't hit enter or anything at this stage um we'll have to give it a name so we'll call it radio tower Okay, so there's our radio tower. That's where we want to go. Let's say secret gold spot, but it's a radio tower. There it is there. The next thing, or well, should we actually have that in temporary places. The next thing we want to do is now actually create the track to it. So back up the top here, that's your place marker. Add a path. It's this third one along the three circles. Click on that. So this is the new path. So we'll give it a name. Track to Radio Tower. Don't hit anything yet. I mean you enter or anything like that. Now on style and colour, these boxes along here, you click on that. That's if you that little box, that's the colour the track's gonna be when I'm doing. I'm, I like white because it's easy to see but you can choose whatever colour you want for your track. Next thing, when you first start, it's only on one. It draws a fairly narrow track. It's hard to see sometimes, so I usually, using the top little arrow there, I'll bump it up to, say, two, so it's a lot easier to see. Don't hit anything yet. Now place your cursor to the, where you want to go. With the left click, it'll put a dot. What you can do is every time you press the left mouse button, it'll uh, 
connect the line up. Now using your arrow keys on your keyboard, that's how you move it. You can still scroll with your mouse as you can see, but if you do something like that, look that's a mistake, it'll draw it to it. While I'm here, if you make a mistake, put your cursor until it turns into a finger on the thing and then right click and it'll delete the last, last one, as you can see. So this is just a tutorial. I'm not going to sit here and make it absolutely perfect, but I wouldn't. And when it's straight, you can save yourself a lot of clicks. Out here, the mining companies, everything's straight. And we'll take it down to the main road there, which is Canalpi Pingin Road. So now there's our track that we've just created. I'm happy with that, the colour, and then you click OK. So now you look over here and you can see Radio Tower and Track to Radio Tower. So what you do, pick the first one, and I'll go there. Radio Tower. You right click on it, save place as, left click. Now, Radio Tower, leave it as a KMZ file. Save it to your desktop, it'll be easier to find. Save. Then track the tower. You right click, save place as. Last place we saved it, desktop, save. Now, technically we're done with Google Earth, so you can shut it off, but I'll just minimize it for now. Now you reopen your base camp. Okay. Now we sort of came up here, but I'll just put it down like that so you can see it. Now, the two lists that we created in our folder, so the first one's a waypoint. So what you do is you highlight it. You can just left click highlight it. You go up to file at the top here, left click. You can see import into waypoints is there. So you click that and you want to look for your file. So remember we saved it to the desktop. There it is, radio tower. Or was it? Yeah, waypoint. So that's waypoint radio tower and you go open. And there it is. Let's put your radio tower in. Now to your tracks. Highlight tracks, go to file, import into tracks, left click on that is the track to radio tower. So you click on that, and there it is. There's our track to radio tower. Don't pay too much mind to what's going on, but that is perfect to your GPS and Google Earth. So the next thing you do is we plug our GPS unit into the computer and transfer it, which I'll be doing now. Plug in the GPS in. It's a matter of just the USB in. Plug into the back of the Garmin. Give it a second. Okay, now we've got tracks. If you highlight that, if you look up here, you've got send tracks to device or receive from device. I'll do that next time, but we want to send it to the device. So you click on that, click on the memory card. Okay. Okay, it's been now it's that track is now in my handheld unit. Click on the waypoint. Uh, 
and send it to a GPS unit. That was quick. Okay. Now, all that information that was on there is on our GPS. Okay, we're done with that. We can switch that off. Now, don't forget to always safely remove Right, now that she's fired up, remember using the page button. Oop. Go to main menu, waypoint manager, using the rocker, remember the big rocker in the middle. You highlight waypoint manager, then enter. There it is, radio tower. Just to check, we'll just see it on the map. And there it is, exactly the way it was. From Google Earth. And it's as easy as that.